Hi everyone, Steph here from Handbag Holic. Now in this video today, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the designer bags that I have decided to sell and why. Now, if you love designer bags and luxury in general, then you need to make sure you join the family because it's so nice to have you here. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell down below. Now, recently I have invested quite heavily in my designer bag collection. I really I really love the Chanel 19 bag and I decided to purchase uh, two Chanel 19 bags for my forever collection, I hope. And in doing that, I decided that I'd rather spend maybe a little bit more money on a bag if I really love it and that I want to get rid of a few bags that maybe I still like but I don't use a lot or bags that I've purchased and then maybe don't like them as much as I thought I would have liked them. So bag number one is the Christian Dior saddle bag. Now, I didn't get this that long ago, to be honest. I think I've had it a few weeks. Um, I've never been too sure on this style of bag, but when this one came Came up in this like caramel tan colour with the gold hardware. Um, it came up for a fairly good price as well. It's, it's vintage, it is slightly used but it still looks like it's in really good condition. I figured why not get it and give it a go. Since then I have invested in my Caramel Chanel 19 and I think I prefer that kind of nude colour. This is like a, a deeper um, tan colour which I still think is really beautiful. But again, with the Dior saddlebag, a lot of people really aren't sure about this bag because of the shape of it. Obviously, it's in the shape of a saddle. And I was watching a um, another review on this bag and someone says it looks like a liver. That interpretation of this bag has stayed with me. And yeah, I look at this bag and I don't absolutely love it. I know some people do, um, but for me, um, yeah, I just decided that I feel like this is a better investment for me. It's, it suits my style a little bit more. So unfortunately, um, this bag has now got to go. Now, I'm quite surprised by my choice here. This is the Louis Vuitton Capucines BB. And for maybe like two years or so, the Capucines bag has been my ultimate bag from Louis Vuitton. And I absolutely love it. I do really like the Capucines. If you watch my video on my entire Louis Vuitton collection, I talked a little bit about this and I got this pre-loved in the black, silver and the snake, but deep down my dream bag is the kind of beige color, which is called Galay with the gold hardware. I really like gold hardware um, and I want the snakeskin handle and I do want the BB size. So I think I've I've come to the conclusion that that is the bag that I really want and as much as I love this black one and to be honest, this black one will probably go with more outfits than the Galay colour. I just really, really love the Galay. And another super popular bag. This is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in the reverse monogram. You might be saying, Steph, why, why is this bag being featured in this video? Okay. I have thought long and hard about this and if I'm being really honest, so I might not sell this straight away, um, but if I didn't use this bag to film with, because it's a great bag to compare things to, because it is really popular, it is a great size, a lot of people have it. So if I'm doing a size comparison, it can be um, great for that reason. But I think I've used this bag around two, maybe three times, and I really just don't get the use out of it. I do think it's really beautiful. I think it's actually really useful. Um, just the way you've got so many compartments inside the bag, you get your crossbody strap. So I'm in no way saying that the Pochette Matisse is a bad bag to get. I think it's a fantastic bag, but I use my Louis Vuitton Odeon PM for my kind of casual every day. And then if I were to take an evening bag out, I would probably now take one of my um, Chanel bags out as opposed to this. As, as part of my kind of cleanse, I am accepting that I probably don't use this bag as much as I should do to justify keeping it. Now here I have a Saint Laurent bag. This bag actually means quite a lot to me. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of time thinking about this. This was actually one of my first ever designer bags. Um, and this is, I don't, it's very similar to the Kate bag, but I think it's more a wallet on chain. 
and it's in this black crushed velvet, which some people don't like velvet, but I quite like fabric bags in black because the blacks tend to be deeper on a material bag than they do um, a leather. So like I say, this was one of my first pieces. I definitely think this is one of the best first evening designer bags. Like I th you can't go too wrong with Saint Laurent. It's black and gold. Um, surprise, surprise, I love a black and gold bag. You have like so many card slots inside of there. You have the zip compartment. And the best thing about the bag is you can either use it as a clutch bag with the chain inside the bag, which is how it just was, or you can use it as a shoulder bag, a long shoulder bag, or you can use it as a crossbody bag. I've used it a few times, maybe like three, four, five times in the evening, and I've just absolutely loved taking it out. However, I've also realized that I like black and gold bags far too much, and I have far too many of them. The reason that I think I might sell this is because afterwards, so I got this uh, maybe like two years ago originally. This is the Saint Laurent Sunset bag, which I'm not going to sell. And this is in like the beautiful smooth leather. It's quite a bit bigger than this bag. So not in like height or, but in terms of depth. And you've got the pocket on the back of this one and you've got more compartments inside the bag. So whenever I go out in the evening now, if I want a Saint Laurent bag, a black and gold one, I pick this one up and this just stays in its dust bag, not getting any use at all. So yeah, like I say, this one does have special memories because it was one of my first ever designer bags. But at the same time, I'm not sure if that's a good enough excuse to kind of leave it sat there when someone else could be really enjoying it because it is so beautiful when this is the bag that I actually reach for. Okay, so I said I had a bit of a problem with loving black and gold bags too much and I'm just gonna carry that theme on with this one here. So this is the Chanel GST tote bag. I have been looking at this tote bag for so long. This is in the black caviar with the gold hardware. This is the combination that I wanted. And one finally came up at an okay price. I absolutely adore it. It's super useful. It is stuffed, but you've got your two compartments and your zipper in the middle. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this bag in terms of that I don't like about it. Other than maybe actually that it kind of bends here. It, it's quite a heavy bag and it like bends under its own weight. So I'm not selling it for that reason though. That isn't the reason that I've decided to part with it. The reason that I've decided to part with it is because if I am going to pick a designer tote bag up, I use my Louis Vuitton on the go. That is my like go-to designer tote bag. And then I have just recently purchased this Chanel 19, which is in black tweed with gold hardware. So I feel like this bag, even though it's so nice and sophisticated, it's very classy. Um, I know a lot of people love it. I just don't see me ever really using it that much because I've already got a tote bag and then if I want a black Chanel bag, I will probably use my 19 and I do prefer that to this, but they are quite different bags. So that is the reason that I'm selling this Chanel GST, although it does make me quite sad because I've waited for so long to get this. So you probably thought in the last round, you know, I've just showed you two black and gold bags. The, uh, the love of black and gold bags does not stop there. This is the Saint Laurent or YSL large envelope bag. I really like this bag. Um, so with my kind of velvet version, which was quite a lot smaller, sometimes I just wanted a bag that was just a bit bigger, that I could fit a bit more in it, you know, a little bit more makeup, maybe take some perfume out with me. And I've loved the YSL envelope for quite a long time. It's a very classic kind of bag. You've got your big pocket on the back there and then you've got just one huge compartment inside, which is really useful. And I've debated whether to sell this because I do think it might be one of those bags that I regret selling. But again, this is, it's just so similar now to my Chanel 19 in terms of size. The 19 is bigger and I know they look maybe slightly different. Maybe the 19 looks more casual. Let me know what you think. Um, but again, I can't really justify keeping both of these bags um, because this one was so expensive. 
that I just feel like this might again be in the firing line because it's black and gold and I just I don't think I need two black and gold bags and I prefer the Chanel. Next in the firing line is my Louis Vuitton Prism People. Um, this is very much a collector's piece. Uh, these were very limited. They were so hard to get. I had to buy this from a reseller in order to get my hands on it. And I do absolutely love it. Like every time I see this bag, it just makes me smile. Um, but again, I'm trying to be really realistic. And I already have a key pull. If you've, like I said, if you've seen my other video with my entire Louis Vuitton collection, I have three key pulls. I have this one, a monogram and black and a monogram and Vachetta. And I'm selling this one and I will sell the Vachetta one as well. I want to be able to properly use it as a travel bag and I need that black leather to be able to do that. I would be quite scared to put this on a plane. Um, I would never put it in the like luggage underneath the plane. I think I would have to like cancel my flight if they wouldn't let me take it on. Um, but I do believe you can, you can take the 50s on the actual aeroplane with you. Um, but yeah, I'm being super realistic. I've never used this. And even when I do use it, I'll probably use it a handful of times in the next few years. I'm just not going to get the wear from it. And again, it's a lot of money to have tied up in a bag that you aren't going to use. So that is why I'm going to sell my beautiful prism. Here I have the Alexander Wang Rocco bag. This bag I have had for so many years. I think I must have purchased this bag maybe around seven years ago now. And again, this was one of my first designer bags. It wasn't my first first, but it's probably my first or one of my first ever bags that I purchased to use every single day. And I can honestly say that like, it still actually looks quite good now considering how much I've used this bag. So the Rocco is the smaller version. I believe the Rocky is the big one. And this one's the one with the gold studs on the bottom. Um, you get the long strap, which I would just use crossbody or as a shoulder bag. And I use this bag for work for many, many years, literally. And I kind of thought that the studs... I mean, they are a little bit scratched on the bottom. Not sure if you can see that, but they don't look too bad at all, really. But yeah, I've decided to sell this bag because I changed, I basically had all my stuff in this maybe like a year ago, I was still using it. And I moved my stuff out of this bag into another bag. Um, and now that changes all the time, but I've never reached for this one again. So this one has literally been sat in my wardrobe. And I thought, you know, the time will come when I, I'll use this again because it's so hard wearing that I don't really uh, care too much about it in terms of I feel like you can throw it round quite easily. You're not going to damage it. Like it's made from really great leather and it's just really well, well put together in general for a bag. But yeah, I've never reached for it again. Black and gold. <laughs> and the final bag that I am selling is my Chanel Business Affinity bag. Although recently I've had this out because I am doing some comparison videos with the Chanel 19. They'll be coming very soon if they aren't already out. And yeah, I've done some comparison just as a size comparison. And I do love it. I do love it's so big. You've got so many compartments um, with this bag. This is in like a pink nude caviar leather, which is really nice. And you get the longer strap here. So it just makes the most perfect like crossbody bag. Not so much a shoulder bag, it's quite long, but it just, it's a really beautiful crossbody. I think I want this in the next size down or maybe in the small. Um, Cause <laughs> this would make a great work bag as in you could get like a notebook in here. You could get quite a few things that you would need every day. Um, it's quite heavy as well because it's made from caviar leather and this one's lined with calf leather. So for me, as a work bag, I would never take this bag with me. Um, I feel like Chanel's maybe too special to use as an everyday work bag. That's just me. I know some people like to use their Chanel bags every day, but I would use a Louis Vuitton. I would use a canvas bag just because they're a little bit more carefree. Whereas this is, with it being a lighter color, I worry about color transfer on the back. Not that there is any on there, but that is a possibility. I have decided, again, it's similar to my Capucine situation. I love the bag, but this isn't like the 
the perfect size and colorway for me. So I'm glad that I've had this, but yeah, this one is also going to be going because I think I want a small or a medium in black or gold. Those are the bags that I have decided to part with. Let me know in the comment box down below. Am I making some terrible mistakes? Do you think I might regret some of these decisions or do you think I am making the right choice? Um, I don't know about you, but I just feel like recently I've invested, like I said, quite a lot in some of my dream bags. And there's a few here that even though I love them, I just don't use them enough. And I think they could bring someone else so much joy like some of them have brought me. I really hope you have enjoyed this video today, but make sure you don't go anywhere because I'm going to be linking my latest video release here for you. So make sure you click that and watch that coming up next.